I'm Rhonda Turner. And I'm Laura Foss. And we met in 1980. Um, I met her, we, we had a mutual friend. And we actually met at, earlier oh, than that's 1980. Right. That's we right. met in 1978. 1978, mm -hmm. the end of 1978. We got together in 1980, I guess. Yeah. But we had a mutual friend, and I was still in high school. And she was in college, and we started hanging out together, and that's when we met. But um, but then we got together in 1980. So yes, and um, we've been together. So this year in August, we'll be celebrating 40 years and uh, four decades, which is strange since I'm only six decades. <laughs> um, yeah, we kind of grew up together. I guess we did. Yeah. We did, and uh, we've had our ups and downs, ins and outs. But um, it, it's been a wonderful ride, and we're, and we're grateful and happy to be together this long. Yeah, truly. Um, we've only been married a few years, though. Yeah, we were married, we've been married five years. We decided to celebrate number 35 by getting married. Since they said we could, we were like, why not? Yeah. yeah. So we had a small ceremony in our home with just us and um, the minister, and it was a very beautiful day. And uh, it was August... It was August the 18th, um, which was we got together in August. We moved in together in August in 1980. So we decided to do that for 35. Obstacles. Well, <laughs> we actually have it easy compared to straight couples because, oddly enough, nine times out of ten, people don't even know we're together because I'm white, she's black, and they don't associate two people standing together of different races as actually being together. <laughs> and since we don't have children, there's no, you know, obvious association. But we have had a few obstacles. Yeah, we've had some family issues. Family issues. We've had neighbor issues, um, you know, problems in college. When we were renting apartments, we'd have issues. Um, when we travel in the United States, Back in the 80s, we had a couple of yeah. interesting things where we learned how to maneuver. Yeah, I, I, I go get the hotel room. She stays in the car. <laughs> but uh, but that's kind of different now. Um, oddly, traveling overseas is not like that at all. Yeah, traveling outside the country is wonderful. I yeah, mean, and they're very surprised that we would even ask about problems like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Some of our favorite memories. Go ahead. It had to be all the traveling we did because, you know, you, you get to experience the larger world together without the strictures of, you know, local community or local society, and that's always a lot of fun. Um, some of my more favorite ones are, you know, introducing her to snow. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty cool trip. Yeah, I'm a Dallas <laughs> yeah. And mountains. I'd never seen mountains before, and... Um, and when we started traveling together, it got us, got me really excited. So I've taken some trips on my own, uh, solo, like in uh, Africa, and and you know, going on group trips, and and, it, and it's given me more uh, confidence to travel alone. And but I'm always happy when we travel together. And she traveled for her work, like to Germany and places like that. Um, and I, I think one of my our favorite my favorite memories was buying our first home here in Oakland. Yeah, that was fun. Um, that was a trip. Even though we did have to encounter kind of ignorant neighbors, but um, <laughs> yeah, they're they're gone. But um, but uh, buying our first home together and um, furnishing it and you know inviting people over, having parties, it was. We had bad neighbors, and then we had really wonderful neighbors that were also gay that we got to hang out with for a long time, and that was a, that's a great memory. Yeah, and being in school together, you know, we, we eventually both of us went to college, and again, you know, she had her circle of friends, and I had my circle of friends, but every once in a while, a couple of them would meet, and that was that was I think it was good for our friends, you know, our separate friends. Mm -hmm. What advice would you what would, what would you tell people? Um, Love who you love and uh, put that first um, because it's very important to walk through this life with someone. Regardless of the package we're packaged in, if your hearts mm -hmm. are together, mm -hmm. then your hearts are together. And just know people are always going to have something to say, so let them say what they say and you hold your head up and you love who you love 
and uh, and never give up on that. Yeah, never be afraid of the hard work because a lot of times it's hard work. Like I said, even though we're not a straight couple, and we don't have you know to to fight that that battle with children, sometimes it's still just a hard fought battle just to be in the world. But stick with it because it's worth it. It is. Thank you.